Hey guys, we got chores on signs. I don't know how far he wants to go. He goes, he stopped at the stop sign. I wonder why. He went past the stop. He went past the stop sign, rolling stop. Right. It's called that a rolling right. stop. Oh, all righty. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thanks for joining Mazzy and myself here on the farm. We're the only ones home because Ranger went to go pick out some school clothes. Mazzy picked out school clothes yesterday. Let's see what she is. This one of your outfits? Well, yeah. I got this and, huh? these shoes. and those shoes. So she got some cool They're shoes. They're eight and a half. Size eight and a half. So the, the kids are growing, obviously. This My is officially August. Since Mazzy's at home with dad, she gets to go along with dad today. Where are we going? Team surplus. Team surplus. Because we are ready for our next step on the schoolie build, which means schoolie, schoolie, that big, all right, that big yellow thing, oh. right over there. Okay. <laughs> well, the schoolie is our bus build, and we have our furniture. And do you like the new furniture, Mazzy? The the couches to sit on, yeah. and they'll kind of double as a bed. That was our first priority, but second priority for your mom is what? Do you know? What does mom need? The, like recliner thingy. No, after that, we already have that. What does she need in a tent or a camping situation after a place toilet. to sleep? A toilet. <laughs> Mazzy no, Mazzy no. So we are gonna go pick up um, kind of like a little portable type toilet today, mainly just to get the size because I'm gonna be framing that. But Mazzy, you wanna go along and see if you can find something? Mm -hmm. All right, better load up in the truck. We are gonna um, bring you guys along and see what we can find at Team Surplus. It's just a like a discount store here in Locust Grove. Some of you guys asked where it was at. It's in Locust Grove, Oklahoma. Let's head that way. We made it. Mazzy, what are you looking for today? Anything? Stuff? Stuff? Uh -huh. Mazzy doesn't have any clue what she wants. But we also have some more news I'll go ahead and share with you guys. I might take Mazzy to the coffee shop next. It's because open to the topic. She loves the coffee shop. But tomorrow at two o'clock, where are we going, Maz? We? An opera singer. An opera singer. So tomorrow at two o'clock, um, there is a I guess an ex opera singer, but also a voice trainer type person that uh, works with the Cherokee Nation and with Cherokee tribal members. And Mazzy is gonna go meet with her. We might not start voice lessons yet, but she wants to meet her and Mazzy might do a little singing for her and kind of get some direction from her on what our next steps are. All right, I think we found what we need. Mazzy, you wanna have a seat right here? No. Come on, <laughs> come on Mazzy. You don't want to try it out? No, thank you. Mazzy said it's going to stink up the whole bus, but uh, you got to at least sit down and try it out. <laughs> Mazzy's embarrassed at this point, but that's okay. That's what my, my job is, him. is to embarrass my children. I'm doing a good job right now. I don't know. It's a little, a so it's hot outside and what are you going to get? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate? But it's delicious. All right, Mazzy, the only way we're going to get hot chocolate is if you let me bring that toilet inside and sit on it. No, Come on. I'll get a smoothie then. All right. <laughs> no. We're going to go to the coffee shop now. Mazzy's favorite place. She loves their hot chocolate or a smoothie. City coffee. This so we made it back to the house and Ransom is not here, but he is at a cattle sale with his papa. So they went to a um, cattle sale in Siloam Springs, cow auction. And I want to go ahead and put this in here, but he wanted to... Uh, help whenever I start building out the frame, the wall. So I'm probably not gonna work on that today anyway. Uh, I started doing some brush hogging yesterday here on the farm and I wanna work on that today. But let me show you guys. Here's an idea. There we go. So that won't be the exact spacing. It'll probably be a little bit over because I wanna be putting um, framing right here around this fender well, and then we'll have a shelf right here and we'll insulate all of that really well. 
and then we're going to come up with shelves and the wall will come out here and then go on back um probably about six inches on this side so that is the idea and will we keep this little toilet thing forever probably not we will probably upgrade at some point but it was 33 dollars today i think it was regular 39 and it was 20 percent off so great little starter setup and this gives us something to go off of because this is probably about as wide as we would ever need for any kind of toilet so that's uh what's going on on the farm and i'll show you real quick before i get out here on the brush hog because it's going to be hot 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 on the brush hog and tractor but that's a good time it's a good time to kill weeds but you can see maybe you can see uh i started and right there is how far i got now that might not seem like a lot but that's like 10 laps all the way around this 30 acres and it's really sad on that first 10 or 20 laps because it doesn't look like you're getting anywhere but eventually you start seeing the middle and find yourself halfway done before you know it so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to get out there and get to work um cassie's still uh shopping with ranger ran some still at the cow cell so i'm going to get to work on that but we'll catch up with you guys probably tomorrow uh i'll be on the tractor for hours in this heat but i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow when we're back on the so this is the next day and cassie got a chance to check out her future toilet what do you think i like it 33 dollars. you can't really beat that you can't at least it's a start can always upgrade yeah you can only go up from there so we kind of got the intro introductory but we can't have privacy in a bathroom without a door mm -hmm. so we ran over to uh cowboys bin store surplus appliance lumber etc it's no longer a bin store and it's no longer a bin store so the kids are a little disappointed so this is previously the bin store now it's a little bit of everything store. This is something we need, right? Something we need? Yeah. Hmm. Something we could use. Like if we were doing a different type of flooring, this looks really nice, but we've already got flooring figured out. Well, there's some doors, but not the kind we need. Hey, look, we can upgrade our pantry gate. Oh, yeah? We have a little, uh, gate to uh keep little bear <laughs> from going in and carrying everything out nope ransom found the doors so we need a really smaller door if we could find one i think all these are exterior doors except for this one that's interior that one so I don't know if we found any doors. They have some trailer house doors over here, but they're exterior. But we may have found the siding to put on the walls. This is pretty light. We're, what we're looking for is light. Yeah. Because it's gonna be on the bus and this would cover a lot of space pretty easily. So we may get this for the, uh, the walls and they just sell a little bit of everything here, whatever they get in, and they might order a few things, but, or if Cassie wants brick, they also have brick. Brick, Cassie? Uh, I don't know, I just realized I'm supposed to be on a Zoom call though. Uh-oh, she's got a Zoom to a call. So we're gonna get off of here, get our stuff, get a couple sheets of that, or three, and then head to the house. So unfortunately, we could not find the door we wanted, but if you guys remember from yesterday, I'm gonna be taking Mazzy down to meet um, the opera singer, the voice um, coach lady, and we are going to um, run by the lumber yard there where we got all the stuff when we built our home. They have pretty affordable prices too. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a real light interior door that isn't made of solid wood. Uh, but right here, you see the paneling twenty dollars a sheet pretty cheap i got three sheets might be too much but i'll have the extra if i need it so i've got some paneling and we'll go check on a door and uh go from there so i'm not going to be framing anything up today i really wanted to uh, make sure i get everything i need before uh we start doing that also i spent a couple hours yesterday working on my brush hog trying to figure out what's wrong it uh getting thick grass and it starts uh smoking 
the slip clutch is out the discs in it are out so i'm gonna have to repair that now that i know exactly what's wrong with it um but that's just life here on the farm always something going on so the next thing we got to do though is take mazzy down there and like i said we'll shop for a door there and see what we can find so before i leave the boys said they have tricks they want to show you both of them have their helmets on and boys will be boys so let's see their tricks hopefully it's not too dangerous all right ranger going first and i think it's the same trick they're learning at the same time Whoa! trick rider all right let's see ransom oh all right there's a couple trick riders so they're doing good on their bikes and having fun and it's all about what summer's about on the farm when you're out of school having fun so me and the boys are outside rangers over playing basketball um ransom has a bike that the chain falls off all the time so it's actually the bike that ranger outgrew and that ransom maybe isn't quite big enough yet but he thinks he is i mean handsome this one? no this one they stuck together yeah. there you go never just pull full force son like a true man there just pull it as hard as i can i don't care what happens oh it's getting the perfect size you are growing because it used to be too big so turn it upside down on his handlebars and seat and i'll try to fix the chain all right i can't I'll, all right you I'll, hold the camera I'll video. so anybody know tell us down in the comments what makes this happen to bikes how does the chain get um stretched out i'm gonna have nasty hands aren't i yeah. Does the chain get worn out? Does it get stretched out? What happens? The other direction. It's upside down. I gotta think about it. You start pedaling it and it should go back on, right? You're supposed to pedal backwards. Because backwards and then the brake is forward. There, now it's on. But see how loose it is? That's the problem. It shouldn't be that loose. Oh, dang it! It came off the back! Man, you, you do have nasty hands. There we go. Wait, throw the chain. Dude, you ain't, you're just video on the ground. You didn't even get it. I was. Handsome, fire. Uh, All right, so we got it on here. Wait, throw the chain. What? And see if it's like loose. Yeah, well, it's loose. I know. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think they get worn out and stretched out maybe. But I know anyway. how to... I'm going to go in real quick and wash my hands. Then I'll take you out to see some of the animals. Well, that didn't last long. Went in, washed my hands, got some uh, LaCroix. It's uh, sparkling water. I came out and I heard him kind of bounce off this concrete. And immediately I heard the chain bite the dust again. So Rangers out here, it is 93 degrees, but there is a breeze, which feels way better, doesn't it, Ranger? So Ranger's out here putting in some work for basketball. I don't know if it's good work or bad work, but it's better than sitting around, ain't it? Huh? Better than sitting around? Yeah, it can't be bad work. I'm just kidding. What I call bad work is creating bad habits. Are you creating bad habits or good habits? Tell me what this is. <laughs> well, that's not something you're gonna use in a game, but it's fun to do things like that out here. So out here at my grow out pen, we just got the leftover roosters and four hens, I think. I think there's four hens, five roosters. Um, you guys know I gave some away to a friend of ours. He is actually the resource officer at um, one of the school campuses in Pryor. And his kids go to school where I coach and teach. And uh, they had the tornado that came through the end of May, 1st of June and took out most of their flock, damaged their coop. So I told him, I said, when you get your coop rebuilt, let me know and I'll get you some, some hens. So they took four hens that should be laying soon. Beautiful birds and should make really good layers. I got four hens left in there that I'm keeping that I need to go out front. I'm gonna put all my Orpingtons in together for now. You guys know me, I change my mind a lot. I, 
I like the idea of raising purebred chickens. I like the idea of selling purebred chickens. But my favorite thing is barnyard mixed chickens. Zena's got the sneezes. So in my big pen out back, I just have random chicks, uh, chickens out there. Um, most are purebred chickens and then purebred roosters. But then when I mix them, they're a barnyard mix. And those are my favorite chickens. I have some chickens out there that are barnyard mixes, but most of them are purebred. But I have that chicken tractor that we turned um, our broken trampoline into the chicken tractor. And I can keep a handful of purebred uh, chickens in there. So I'm doing the Orpingtons right now. I've had the Death Layers, I've had the American Breasts, and now I'm on to the Orpingtons. So, hi Zena. So we got Reba over here. Her boyfriend, husband, her husband, uh, Toby Keith. He, we found him a couple weeks ago not doing good. It, and it was a matter of no time, like he was fine and then he wasn't. He passed on. And so she has another friend out here. Tesla is still out here, our black Spanish. Okay, he's bringing a bringing a bicycle through. He had to trade bicycles since his chain won't stay on. Go on, baby. So when he starts doing BMX, we'll be getting a new bicycle. We need to know what size and all that. So until then, he's just playing musical bicycles um, because we're not gonna buy one until we know exactly what bicycle we need. We also need to kind of figure out like his BMX bike, will he ride it around the farm and have fun or will it only be used for BMX? I have no clue, I know nothing about it. On my ducks, I got an Indian runner duck sitting on eggs over here. <laughs> and I have over here, Tesla Ransom, be careful going over those big sticks, baby. You'll get one jabbed right in your chest. But uh, let's see if Tesla has any eggs under her, because... <gasps> Look, that's a half-hatched duck. Did you hatch out some ducks? No. Nope. But that is a half-hatched duck over there. I don't think it's still alive. What happened, girl? That's a duck sticking out, and it doesn't look like it's alive. It's got trapped in there. I'm not sure why she rolled it out. Probably because it died, but maybe the other ones underneath her are going to hatch. Hi, gummit. So Tesla has hatched out chickens for me. That's my favorite place to ride. And I think she has hatched out ducks for me. She's never hatched out turkeys. So she's got duck eggs underneath her. Sorry, I forgot. I'm supposed to start, stop the camera every so often and restart it so the files aren't so long. But I have my red bird. Look at him. Rowdy. He can stand up on two legs for a long time. Oh, now he's got it figured out. <laughs> but I got my red bourbon Reba right here and she no longer has a mate she does have Tesla another turkey out here but I would like to get another re red red bourbon uh, Tom turkey but we'll just have to see the the auction I like Peg's poultry auction it doesn't start back up till September because it's so hot so um, I'll wait till then probably to get one if they have any or I'll keep my eyes out for something but oh this duck got up let's see uh, let's see she's sitting on five also so and see look she got up and moved and they'll probably still hatch just like people with incubators, they open them or get them out or candle them or mess with them and they still hatch. People act like those incubators are a ticking time bomb and you can't mess with them. So we'll go out here and look at the donkeys. It's getting hot, so I'm about to go back inside. You can only come out here for so long. In the shade, it's not bad at all. But uh, all the donkeys are out together. Patsy had been up, but Gary brush hogged all, down all the real tall green grass. So we... Put her back out and see how she'll do keeping an eye on her 
Sometimes when she eats too much green grass, she starts limping, which we know that's a sign of foundering. Um, we are pretty sure that whoever had her last, she has foundered with them. So she's going to be susceptible. You know what's the word I'm trying to say? I can't get it to come out. Susceptible. That don't sound right. She's more prone to foundering. Look at this pocket donkey. She's more prone to foundering. I'm going to the shade, Dolly, because she's done that before. So here's Dolly. She's not limping. She's getting around good. I mean, Patsy. She get mad at me because I called her Dolly. I think she's just mad because Benjamin, Benny. Anyway, here's June. Patsy's usually real loving. I don't know why she did that. I think because Benny was coming up and she doesn't want a husband right now. Hey, be nice to Shelby. So that's Dolly. She's uh, our youngest one. And then we got Patsy, June, and Loretta. And then Benny is our Jack. So the donkeys are quickly kind of becoming my favorite thing on the farm. If they would have a baby, they would for sure be my favorite thing. <laughs> so June is looking pregnant. Patsy is looking pregnant, but they have been, well, Patsy has been for a while, June recently. I'm moving because their ears are pinning back. They're getting mad at each other because they're jealous. I am petting you, Dolly. They also have to tell P Benny sometimes they're not looking for a relationship. So yeah, that's the donkeys. They're doing good. Dolly's still in my pocket following me. Hey sis, I'll pet you some more. Good girl, good girl. All right, I'm gonna go back in. I think the boys are wanting me to set up the water slide that their Nana brought them. So I told them if they'd start getting the stuff out, I'd help them put it together. So we'll go see, and then I'm going in the house to cool off. So we are on the Sequoia campus, and this is the chapel on Sequoia campus. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna head in and uh, go from there. So we just got out of the music lessons and the introductions and Mazzy sang a song um, for uh, the instructor and then she did some, what, what was it called to get your range, to figure out your range? Uh, 11 year old. Yeah, so for an 11 year old, she said that Mazzy has an excellent range and she wanted to take her on as a student. So we didn't know to this point whether she would want to take her on as a student or not because um, most 11 year olds probably um, aren't quite, don't, don't have the vocal range. And, but I do. But she said Mazzy does. And so Mazzy's super excited. Was that fun? Uh -huh. So we're gonna have another lesson next week. Mazzy has some, a book to uh, start looking at and practicing. So we are back home and it was pretty uh, fun going to see Mazzy do what Mazzy loves and that is sing and getting somebody that is professionally trained in singing and um, training other people to sing, get, getting to hear her and being impressed by Mazzy. So uh, like I said before, this was just a day to test it out and see what happened, but she was um, impressed with Mazzy to the point that she wants Mazzy to start her we weekly lessons with her. Not only is it a trained professional that uh, has been there, done that, and everything but it's also another tribal member that cares a lot about other tribal members and seeing them succeed so it's a really cool thing we're excited but now it is time to eat and i'm going to turn on let's see let's do about 375. so i went out and started the tours but now it's time to put the steaks on and filet filet was the name that i couldn't remember so we have filets and ribeye 
made right here on our farm. Well, kind of on our farm, uh, but here's the door. So it's a two foot door, interior door, nice and light. So that shouldn't be a problem. So up here, these are fillets and then the back four are all ribeyes. And that is my two favorite steaks. My probably all time favorite is ribeye, but filet is right up there at the top. And uh, I can't wait to try those out. So easy cleanup. We always marinate our steaks in a Ziploc bag, throw it away, easy peasy, no problem. Done. So these are filets, they, they're pretty thick. Oh yeah, ribeyes are cooking right up, man. So not only did we end our evening with steak, but watermelon for dessert. Mazzy is the inspector of melon because she doesn't like seeds, do you? No. So how's this melon? Have you tried it yet? Uh, On a one to 10, I'm gonna go eight, which isn't bad because the worst thing is getting a bad uh, melon. Four. Four? Eh. Eight, it's an eight. But uh, that's all gonna be all for tonight, but we do have to go catch some roosters and bring them uh, over to the Amish auction in the morning. So that's the last thing we're gonna do, right Cassie? Yeah. Yeah. She's getting, uh, taking a little bear for a bath, but we're gonna take some um, roosters to the auction. So we'll catch up with you in the morning. So this is bright and early, and I say bright. Oh, look, the sun's in our eyes. And it's early the next morning, and Ransom wanted to get up and go with me. You love going to the auction, Ransom? Yeah, but, ow, Belle, please get off my foot. <laughs> Belle is out here wanting some attention, so we're giving her a little. So Cassie came out and helped me catch the chickens last night. And since we built a new brooder, we don't need our old brooder anymore. So our old brooder was a little playpen. So since we don't need it, then we use that for our temporary uh, chicken coop. So these were one of our last hatches. We think they're mostly roosters, so we don't need them. And we're taking them to our local auction. Uh, the, I think it's Orpington. It's a really nice breed. But time's a waste and we got to get them loaded up so we can get them unloaded. So we already have strike number one against us. We uh, tried to load it into the van. I took out a seat in the back and it was about two inches too wide to go through the sliding door. So change of plans. I'm going to switch to the truck. So it wasn't as easy to load them up into the truck, but they are loaded up now and ready to go. So we will see you guys over at the auction. Well, we made it to the chicken auction and there's already a rodeo, isn't there, Ransom? Yep. If only they had a chicken wrangler. Me. Ah, no, nah, they've got it. They got it taken care of. I think they just caught it. No. Oh no, they don't. It's still on the loose. It's under that truck on the loose. Hey, he, that, that chicken knows what's going on. So, so this is the we call it the Amish auction uh, it's over between Shoto and Inola Oklahoma and uh, we'll video a little bit here and you guys will see Amish people working in the background because a lot of Amish work here and a lot of them sell stuff here a lot of them buy stuff here and it's a big auction isn't it Ransom? Yeah. So Ransom was there a lot of uh, a lot of chickens? Yeah. So I think we had a couple of those Amish guys cracking up about our choice of pen, Ransom. When I went to unload it, these guys were just dying laughing because we brought all our chickens in a play pen. Because they want to play. They want to play. Well, one of them even made a, a remark to me. You know what he said? What? Decided to sell your babies. <laughs> so uh, I said, yeah, my baby roosters. So we we got rid of those roosters in a play pen and at least we made somebody laugh about it. But we were done with it because we built the mega brooder. We didn't need a playpen for a brooder anymore. And I thought, don't just throw it in the trash. 
I think it was it was basically stinky and trash anyway. So why not do something? So we made a pin out of it. You ready to go to the auction? All right. So we're not going to talk in here a whole lot. Uh, we're just going to kind of show you what a day is like at the Amish auction. So if somebody would ask me what a good reliable tractor is, I would probably say Massey Ferguson because these Amish guys run these Massey Fergusons. <laughs> and there are a ton of them. And they've got some age on them. But, uh, yeah. If you've seen one, you've seen a hundred of them. Ransom. Ransom, what are you looking for? A turkey for mom. A turkey for mom? Oh. I'll see if we find any bourbon reds. So they sell some pretty normal stuff here, like boats and trailers. But then they get random things like this. <laughs> Look at that. Those huge slide outs. I think it's massive. I think I'll have to go in here and check this out. Yeah, not, and this isn't set up to uh, tell people about not drinking and driving. This is set up to sell. So. Huge slide outs. It'd make quite the RV. A little data closet up here for servers. But, man, that thing is big. It's like a full room and house when you get in here. So things like this are government entities. Uh, whenever you sell something at this auction, it sells absolute to the highest bidder. And so they can get rid of stuff like this, but I probably won't be around, but I'm kind of curious what that sells for. It's huge. They're uncirculated, uncirculated there. I found a whole set there. $2.820. $2.820. Have a quick take that back to the He went past the stop sign, rolling stop. It's called that a rolling stop. All righty, choice sign right here. I don't know, that's 50 bucks on choice. Hit 50 for your choice. Hey, nice morning. Uh, this is your first time for coming out. We sell everything by the head. That means if there is five ducks in a cage, they bring $5, you pay $25. We do not sell a cage for one money. So much a duck times three. Hey, and have a chair, 12 and a half, five bucks for Hey, five, five, we get three down four. And four, four, three, get four down five, five, we're gonna get four down five. And four, five, five, you're gonna get four down five, six dollar. And five, say, you put it down five, you want to get six dollar, six dollar, six dollar, seven. And six, seven, 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 so get six dollar the number eight, sixteen, number eight, six and a half, fifteen, seven, and twenty. Yeah, two down five. Twenty five, seven and a half, twenty seven and a half, thirty. And thirty, 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 get them for twenty seven, thirty, thirty. Look how little, look how little they are. Tiny. I can hold like four in my hand. It's a whole bunch of them. So after you leave the Amish auction in Shoto, Oklahoma, the best place to go is Amish Cheese House, according to Ransom, to get what? Ice cream. <laughs> he wants some of this homemade ice cream. I'm not going to get any because I'm still not trying to eat very many sugars, but... It's probably some of the best ice cream around. But Ransom, how was that auction? Good. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. So Ransom looked at all the stuff, all the chickens. You guys saw out in the field there, they have, um, I call it the junk, but they have a huge pasture full and f just row after row after row of just random things. And that sells for hours. And they have five auction rings going at once, four or five going at once. And then the, the big stuff like that trailer, 
that we saw that truck with the thing yeah. that's the slide outs i think that sells at like 10 or 11 o'clock the chickens sell 8 30. ours hadn't sold yet but they will sell in just a little bit but i almost ran some i almost bought a road sign but i didn't want to have to go what kind uh it was a sign that said kind of like children at play and then they had one that said like a yield or a merge sign i don't know 25 35 dollars is what they sold for but apparently i didn't want it bad enough because i didn't buy it but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of the amish auction if you guys are ever this direction definitely plan a whole day because that auction goes all day mm -hmm. so we are gonna get off of here but um get some maybe food and some ice cream and head back home and the day you're watching this video is the day we recorded this video so i'm gonna go home finish editing it put it out for you guys but we want to thank you so much for following along with our family i know we had a lot going on all the way from getting supplies to the for the bus mazzy doing her singing things and now the amish but it was a big day so we hope you have a great day and god bless bye